I went on a photo walk this past weekend with some friends with the explicit purpose of trying to do some HDR images. This is one of the images that I took this weekend and I think it turned out really cool and I've had some people ask how I actually went about creating this post-processing. So I thought I'd do a little tutorial of how it goes from basically a standard exposure to a toned map exposure and then when applying a shadow map it gives it some more punch like that. So let's look at what we got. So for this particular HDR image I have nine shots of varying exposures from plus minus two EV um, at the maximum ends. So the first thing we want to do is create a toned map image that we like and I'm going to use Photomatix Pro. So I've selected my nine exposures and now we go export photomatics. They were on a tripod and there was almost no wind so ghosting shouldn't be a problem and alignment shouldn't be that big of a problem either. So let's export these and import them into photomatics and we'll start tone mapping. So one thing I forgot to show you on that previous box was you wanted to save the or you wanted to load the intermediate HDR image because we want to save this individually and come back to it so I don't have to reprocess it. Yeah. So you'd go save as, save this HDR image. And our folder has been moved. So there, we've saved our HDR image. Now we can go tone map. So the first pass HDR, you just want it to look pretty good. That was a really good starting point, the enhanced. And then it's just about playing with sliders until you get the look that you're going for. Yeah, so it's all about finding the right balance here. This new version of Photomatix has much uh, fewer options. So there's a, less things you can go through. So this is my starting point that I had for this image that I liked a lot medium, the light adjustment was an important one. It brought all the color back into the doors. So there are my basic settings for this image. So now we save and re-import. So once that's re-imported into Lightroom, we want to come back into Photomatix we want to open our intermediate HDR file and now we're going to shadow map it. So we say tone map again and I already have a preset for that. Also you basically take it to surreal, push it to the limit with zero saturation. This isn't what it's gonna look like, it's just to enhance all the elements of it so it can it brings out a ton of detail in places that otherwise would have been lost. Now we say process again. Okay, so now we're back in Lightroom and here's our main tone map. Here's our shadow map. So um, I want to do a little bit of processing on here. Get this pretty close to the way I like it. So I'm going to sync over my stuff from this image. Synchronize that over. Alright, so 
pretty close on my new and old versions. So once we have a developed HDR that looks pretty cool, now we want to shadow map it, which will just give it a ton of extra punch. So how do we do that? We're going to use Photoshop. Back to our grid, we're going to select our tone map and our shadow map. Say edit in Photoshop as layers. Now let's start that. So now we have both of our images loaded into Photoshop as layers. We have our shadow map on the top and our tone map on the bottom. So what I typically do is I switch this to hard light and I drop the opacity to 50%. And that, you can already tell, gives a ton of extra punch to it. But certain parts, it's just it's a little overboard. So I'll typically create a layer mask with a brush, a black brush to erase it, and we want more opacity. And I will erase it in certain parts so it's not quite as crazy. So some of the shadows will so just come in here and selectively adjust. It, it lightens them up. With the shadow map it'll really darken so you can't see in there anymore. There you can. So I might come through here and I'll create a layer mask and mask off a lot of different things just where I want a little bit more uh, depth and I want to retain a little bit more of the original tone map so it's not too overboard. And then I typically like to create a few adjustment layers we can just do it with brightness because it's easy. Um, so brighten that up, but we'll use a layer mask. So that off. We only want it, say, to lighten up the doors. Quick and dirty, but you kind of get the idea. Just to selectively enhance certain aspects of the image. And there you have it. That's how you go from one exposure or this particular exposure to a tone map image to a shadow mapped tone mapped and photoshopped image. So you can go check out the rest of the images I took from that night on my Facebook page. I'll put a link below. Um, otherwise, like this video and subscribe if you want to see more like this. All right. Thanks. Bye.